Suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. I want to re-upload this video that I took 10 years ago to show you what it was like when I was dealing with a Percocet addiction. It was about a year or two after my dad took his life and I was suicidal as well. And thankfully when I was dealing with this medication, I was told a few words that really stuck out with me, which allowed me to get off of Percocet and Oxycontin and eventually just go on Tylenol 3 and then rebuild my life. I deleted this video years ago because there's a lot of swearing in it and I was concerned about what people thought, which is unfortunately like a horrible way to look at something that I know can help so many people. And what I do at the end of the video, I'm not supposed to with my medication, I know, but I wanted to re-upload it here, the full raw in length, it's about five minutes long, for you to see what it was like when I was dealing with suicidal thoughts and how I overcame them. And if you find that it helps you, please share it so we can help somebody else too. What's up, Cat here? And I got a really good one I want to tell you about. Percocets. The worst, one of the worst drugs I've ever taken in my entire life. I basically just like kind of finally understood again in what an addiction is really like. Uh, two years ago when I was like at the beginning of my injury, I ended up taking Oxycontin for eight months. And one day I go into my surgeon's to go see him for a checkup and he's like oh what medications are you still taking and I'm like I don't know this and this and that and I'm still taking Oxycontin and he's like you should have been off that stuff months ago what are you still taking it for well I don't know I still feel pain I told him <clears throat> and he's like dude you're not feeling pain you're feeling the addiction I'm like really he goes yeah go home get some uh, get some T3s and wean yourself off so I went home and I got T3s and in two weeks I got myself off of Oxy's no problem. I just didn't know that I was addicted to the damn things. And then since then, I mean, T3s have been kind of doing it here and there or whatever. So a while ago, um, I ended up just kind of at the timing, I was feeling some like serious back pain again. And uh, I ended up trying to purchase it. And it worked pretty damn good. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll like try going back to something stronger than T3s again because I've been experimenting with different pain medications and stuff, but it just, it's hard, man, like, because I'm such an anti, like, pill guy, and um, I couldn't, like, find one that really worked for me, like, what I was looking for anyways. So anyway, I, um, when I was going to hockey camp, I knew that I was going to be in some serious pain, and since the perks worked, I'm like, okay, well, I'll try taking them for a while. Well, it helped me at the hockey camp. I wasn't feeling any pain. But then when I got back home, I had like two and a half, almost three, like horrible weeks. And I couldn't even figure it out why. I just thought, oh, maybe I'm still sore from the camp or whatever. But basically what it is is that I've still been taking these goddamn horrible pills. And uh, the other night, I was laying awake all night. Like I was kind of just chilling. And I hadn't taken one for two days. But I was freaking out in my bed. I started like getting like just crazy thoughts and then I started getting suicidal thoughts and like I've had suicidal thoughts before like I think we all have in one way or another like you're like oh today sucks I just want to fucking kill myself but like I've never had suicidal thoughts where like I could not get them out of my head where I couldn't like override my brain and like I was laying awake thinking about like swallowing a bottle of pills or like knives and guns and stuff and it was scary scary shit I ended up calling like six of my buddies at like four o'clock in the morning until like my buddy Mike finally calmed me down. And I didn't like do anything crazy. I took one perk at like 3.30 because I was just couldn't take it or whatever. And that's the last I've taken them since then. So basically what this is now, I know what the street value of these are and I don't give a fuck because for one thing, I don't think that anybody else needs to experience this shit and I feel sorry for the people that are addicted. And I ain't no fucking drug dealer. So, right here, it says uh, Endoset, Oxycodone, and Acetaminophen. But basically, it's Percocet, so like all the same shit. I don't know how many are in here. But you know what? Fuck drugs, fuck Percocets, fuck Oxycodone, Oxycon, and all that hard, crazy shit. Fuck them. Flush that shit down the toilet. Stick to smoking weed if you want to do drugs. That shit's fine. Fuck all those other drugs. And it, and if like, 
I don't want to say don't take them, because, like, I mean, when I was, like, seriously hurt at the beginning, like, you do need some of that strong stuff. It's, it's like a necessity for spinal cord injuries. And, and in one way, like, that stuff is an important drug to, like, have out there if it's controlled. But, like, especially if, like, you don't know that you're addicted to it, and, like, you can't, I don't know, dude, you just got to be able to control that stuff and, like, but learn when you are addicted and, and don't let it rule your life because I got friends that are hooked on that shit and it sucks, man. And, like, you can't shit for days. I don't know why anybody would think that the high is worth that. That's fucking horrible. So, I don't know, like, I don't want to say, like, if you're in rehab or something like that, it's not like don't take that. I mean, if, if your doctors are telling you to because you do need it for a certain time of your life and period or whatever, but, like, especially for recreational use. And then... I don't know, if you can get away with using something less, like I can manage T3s, which I'm going to like go back to if I need them, and I, I don't know, I can try and do without those most of the time too, but anyways, man, that stuff's shit, so hope you learned a lesson from that. So thanks for watching, I hope you found that valuable and helpful. Uh, like I said, I know I'm not supposed to flush my drugs down the toilet, but I had to do what I could at the time to get over my addiction. And thankfully, I haven't had to take any hard medication like that since. So if you find it was helpful, if you found that, it learned some, that you learned something from it, please share it and hopefully we can help somebody else and know that whatever you're going through right now, if you're feeling depressed or suicidal, that this is not the end, that there is another day and you will get through this.